Hi and welcome back. If you are new here, I'm Ruby and this is In The Lux. And In The Lux is all about the babe on a budget. So all of my videos are fashion and lifestyle videos that are affordable and accessible and just you know, like all that high street goodness for the babe on a budget. Today I'm gonna to be doing a misguided haul and it's a pretty heavy one. I've totally forgot what I ordered so I'm so excited to go through everything and show you what I got. I got a mixture of different things. I didn't really have a theme. It wasn't like summer theme. I just kind of just went for it on the new in section. As always, I will link everything below and try everything on. I haven't done a misguided haul in a while. I think I've only done one misguided haul on this channel before, so I thought, Definitely time to go misguided again, and I love, I literally forgot how much I love misguided. I was going through like the new in section on their website and I was like, they just get it right. Like they just have so many cool things that you just do not find on the high street shops. Like if you go into New Look and H&M and places like that, it's all amazing. But you just get that like real super on trend type clothing on Misguided because they just, they are so quick to just like jump on the trends when they're in. So like if you see any trend on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever, chances are that Misguided are gonna have that sort of type style clothing piece on their website. So I really recommend Misguided and let's just get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to mention is this gray button down mini dress in this stretchy sort of cotton fabric. And it has buttons all the way down and they are like gray slash dark charcoal sort of color buttons. What I just think is always so good about Misguided and what I really rate them on is they the fabric that they use, I always think is a very good quality. It's nice and thick and it's like, it doesn't really have any sort of like weird hems where it's like been done a bit sort of like, um, you know, with, without paying too much attention and it's not done like in a cheap way. I always think their clothes are made really well for the price that they are. Cause sometimes I can find sometimes on like some online retailers that are really cheap and they are like almost see-through because the fabric is so cheap. But Misguided, I don't think I've ever had clothes from Misguided that I thought the, the quality of the clothing isn't great. I always think it's brilliant. And this dress was only 15 pounds. So I love this as like a casual summery dress that you can wear with a pair of trainers and like maybe a cute sort of like baseball cap or you could totally dress it up with like a pair of um, heeled sandals on like a sunny day with like a crossover bag and have your hair down, maybe like beachy waves or something. Um, and I'm excited to try it on. It is, it's quite thick. So if you're, if you're gonna be wearing this like on holiday, I don't know if it's gonna be suitable because it is pretty thick. I'm just gonna see like what fabric it is. There's gotta be some cotton in there actually. Yeah, 95% cotton, which is brilliant. So it means that it's gonna be breathable, but I will say it is quite thick, so not suitable for like those boiling hot days. But on just like a regular summer's day in the UK, perfect. Okay, next up I got this crop top cami, sort of lacy cami crop top in red. And if you watched my last few videos, you will know I've been obsessed with the color red recently. I've just, I always thought that I couldn't wear red because I was blonde and it was just too much of like a, I don't know, I just didn't think that it looked right. But recently I've just been absolutely obsessed with red. Um, it has a silver zip that goes up the back and it's lacy and super cute. And I'm gonna totally rock this with my high-waisted ripped denim, I think. And perfect for nights out with the girls, you know, like drinks, cocktails. It's quite sexy. You could probably even get away with wearing this for like lingerie style if you want. I haven't tried this on yet, so hopefully it's not gonna be too low cut because I find some of the things recently I've been trying on and it's just so inappropriate. I couldn't go out like that exposed. But this looks like it's not gonna be too bad, hopefully. And yeah, I just think it's really flattering. I've said it before, but I love the way that lace just sort of lies on the stomach when it's just like that raw lacy bit there. I think that looks so nice. Um, and this was 20 pounds and I got it in a size eight. 
Okay, next up I got this really cool different looking jumper. This is in like a sandy beige colour and it has a rip down the front and it's kind of giving me like those Yeezy vibes, you know, like the very neutral sand beige kind of loungewear style, super casual. Like I can imagine Kim Kardashian wearing this with those cycling shorts which I probably will not be doing. How did she make those look so good? This jumper I think is really cool, really different. I'm so glad that I got it in a size eight because I nearly got a size 10, but I thought I wanted it to be like a little bit oversized, but still give me a bit of shape because I'm pretty short. So I like to just, you know, give myself as much shape as possible. And I'm really glad because this is a very forgiving size eight. The arms are nice and wide and it's just going to be really comfortable and just something a bit different. And this was £15, like for a jumper. I think that's such good value. And I'll just check the fabric. So it's 55 polyester and 45% cotton. I'm a big, big fan of cotton. I really hate when clothing items are like 90% polyester or elastane or whatever. I like things to be made with cotton if possible. And this is like 40% cotton. So I'm into it, can't wait to try it on. And yeah, it was 15 pounds and I got it in a size eight. Next up, I got a black bodysuit, which is completely off the shoulder and it's stretchy material. It's bodysuit sort of suit, so it does have the poppers at the bottom and it's quite long sleeved off the shoulder with really cute silver poppers that go down the front. And I saw this on the website and the girl had like the off the shoulder and a couple of the like poppers undone at the front and I just thought it looked really nice. And she had on a pair of like high waisted jeans. I think it's just really nice to wear like casual type tops and bodysuits but just that have something a bit different, like with the off the shoulder, it's still like going strong. People are still really into the off the shoulder vibe and I love it too. I like how stretchy it is. You can go out to dinner, wear this, have a massive bowl of pasta and like, you know, it's still comfortable. So yeah, I'm into this. And also this is a really good one for going into the autumn and the winter months because it's still gonna keep you nice and warm. And that bodysuit was size 10 and it was 15 pounds. Next up, I got a pair of cigarette trousers in this khaki green color with a white stripe that goes all the way down each side. And I'm trousers like this are always a bit hit and miss for me. Sometimes they can look okay, but like 80% of the time they don't. So with a pair of heels, that usually helps. If you're pretty short, you know, you want to try and elongate the leg as much as possible. So wearing a high heel with maybe a pointed toe can really help. I think khaki is a really nice colour, kind of all year round. I think it works really well in the summer, like khaki shirt dresses. And then obviously khaki in the autumn looks amazing too. And um, I got these in a size 10 and they were 20 pounds. So I will see how they look on, but the chances are they might not see me, but I keep trying. I always, I'm never gonna give up on finding like the perfect pair of trousers and you know, you never know. These sort of trousers look really good with crop tops and heels for like a night out. Um, but you could probably also get away with wearing them to work as well if you have a little bit more of a business casual office. Okay, so next up I got a polka dot dress and it's black and white with, so it's got the white polka dots. It's really frilly, really cutesy, really summery and feminine. It's got a really cute sort of v-neck, but not too low, and some little ties that you can just tie in like a little bow. Really, really cute, really sweet and cute for summer. I got it in a size 10 and it was 15 pounds. And I do not think that it's gonna be mostly cotton. I will just check. Yeah, this is 95% viscose. So like not my favorite, but it is nice and stretchy. So if it's not too hot outside and you want a nice sort of comfortable dress, this one will probably do you really well. And I like the little frills on the arms as well. This dress I think will look really cute with a red lipstick and maybe your hair up in a bun like this with some cute red sandals or something, or maybe like a wedge could look really cute. Yeah, I just think it's really pretty. Okay, so the last thing that I got is a bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's this windbreaker jacket. 
and it, it was £35. But just, it really caught my eye, and I think, I'm not really the sort of girl that would wear like these sort of jackets, but I think it's really cool because it's got the leopard print stripe, so it's like kind of girly, and it's got a red, a red stripe down the side, I'm so into red at the moment, and then it's just black and white, and I just think it's really, really cool. Um, I just think it's a really cool jacket to wear casually throughout the summer and autumn with a pair of just jeans and trainers and just, I don't know, I kind of love it. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I think you, you could totally wear this with like a little sort of mini dress as well, maybe some trainers. I think that could look really cool. Maybe it's like, I don't know, is it too young for me? I got it in a size eight and I'm kind of, I'm glad about that because it is sort of, it looks quite a good size. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too tight. It seems like it's got a lot of room. And one thing I will say about this one, it feels really well made. Like all of the fabric feels very good. I think it's lined, so it's gonna be nice and warm when it starts to get a bit colder. Um, and I just think it's a really good sort of quality jacket. Anyway, so that was everything that I got from Misguided. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I'd love to know what your favorite thing that I got was. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at in the Lux, and I will see you in my next video.